Major anime news coming out of this week as the announcement of the dub cast for the hit series Attack on Titan have been revealed. Throughout this past week, Funimation, the company responsible for handling the dub, have revealed in chunks most of the voice cast that will be playing the characters in the English dub of the show. Starting off the list on Monday, the voice for characters Erwin Smith, Marco Boat, Carla Yeager, Grisha Yeager, Hans, and Keith Sadis were revealed. Keith Sadis will be played by actor Patrick Seitz, whose notable roles include Sloth from FMA Brotherhood and Laxus from Fairy Tale. And get used to me citing FMA Brotherhood and Fairy Tale because the majority of these actors have done voices for those shows at some point in time. Erwin will be played by J. Michael Tatum, whose notable roles include Scar from FMA Brotherhood and Giriko from Soul Eater. Marco will be voiced by Austin Tyndall, whose notable roles include Alzac Connell from Fairy Tale and Young Iceberg from One Piece. Carla will be voiced by Jessica Cavanaugh, whose notable roles include Aquarius from Fairy Tale and Paula from Black Butler. Grisha Yeager will be played by Chris Hurry, who is notably known for TV roles, including a stint on the show Revolution. And finally, Hans will be played by David Wald, whose notable role includes Gajiel Red Fox from Fairy Tale. On Tuesday came the revelation of most of the cast for the 104th Training Squad, including Jean Kirstein, Connie Springer, Sasha Brous, Krista Renz, and Emir. Jean will be voiced by Funimation actor and director Mike McFarlane, whose notable roles include Gene Havoc from FMA and Master Roshi from Dragon Ball Z. Connie will be voiced by Clifford Chapin, who has mostly done additional roles in other shows, including Fairy Tale. Krista will be voiced by Bryn April, whose notable role includes Meredy from Fairy Tale. Emir will be voiced by Elizabeth Maxwell, who has mostly done TV roles, including a guest appearance on Criminal Minds. And in a surprising announcement, Sasha will be played by Ashley Birch. Miss Birch is most well known for her internet web series, Hey Ash what you play in, as well as being the voice for Tiny Tina in the game Borderlands. On Wednesday came one of the more hotly anticipated casting decisions in fan favorite character Levi Reval, as well as the voices for Petra Rahl, Hanji Zoe, Bertolt Fubar, and Dot Pixis. Levi will be voiced by actor Matthew Mercer, whose notable roles include Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil 6, and several characters in the There Will Be Brawl web series, including Ganondorf, Kirby, and Meta Knight. Petra will be voiced by Caitlin Glass, who is probably most well known as playing Win Me Rock Bell in the Full Metal Alchemist series. Hanji Zoe will be voiced by Jessica Calvello, whose notable roles include Prema from the original Pokemon anime and Excel Excel from the Excel Saga. Bertolt will be voiced by David Matranga, whose notable roles include Brerios from Appleseed, Umori from Elfin Lead, and Ghost from Halo Legends. And finally, Dot Pixis will be voiced by R. Bruce Elliott, whose most notable roles include Boss Gron from Full Metal Alchemist and Makarov from Fairy Tale. Thursday was a bit smaller in terms of main character, but did have one major announcement in one of the most central characters of the show, Mikasa Ackerman. And yes, that is the official Japanese pronunciation of the name, so please do not send any hate towards Funimation for going with that pronunciation. It is the correct way to pronounce the name. Mikasa will be voiced by actress Trina Nishimura, whose notable roles include Mari from the Evangelion Rebuild films, Lan Fawn from FMA Brotherhood, and Mizune from Soul Eater. And finally on Friday, the last of the main 104th members were announced, including Armin Ardlert, Reiner Braun, and Annie Leonhardt. Armin will be voiced by Josh Grell, whose most notable roles include Oxford from Soul Eater and Daimo from FMA Brotherhood. Reiner will be voiced by Robert McCollum, whose notable roles include Mifune from Soul Eater, Koki from Rin Darza Minozamine, Scar's brother from FMA Brotherhood, and Jalal from Fairy Tale. And finally, Annie will be voiced by Lauren Landa, who has mostly done smaller roles, notably Sakuya from Sword Art Online. As of now, the only main characters for Season 1 that have yet to be revealed are Aaron Yeager, Mike Zacharias, and the last three members of Levi Squad, Aro Bozart, Er Jin, and Gunther Schells. Aaron's voice actor will most likely be revealed along with the premiere of the English dub at Anime Boston next weekend. Whether or not the other actors will be announced at that time, in the upcoming week, or at a later point in time have yet to be revealed. Now with that out of the way, my thoughts and opinion on the voice cast. I'll just go in order of how the day, they were released by day. As far as Erwin and Keith are concerned, I have no issues there. Erwin sounded fine and Keith sounded fine. I was a little surprised, however, that Travis Wellingham was not chosen for Erwin because he seemed the likely candidate. Nevertheless, from what I heard of Erwin, he sounded perfectly fine, so we shall see how it goes. Tuesday saw the only voice that I really have a major complaint against, and that is Mike McFarlane as Jean. 
I just don't feel like he fits the character very well. He makes Jan sound a lot older than he is, and I don't know, there's just something about it that doesn't click with the character. Maybe he just needs more time to settle into the role, but as of now, he's a kind of eh. Connie uh, sounded like him, but at the same time didn't. I'm a little 50-50 on that voice. So far, all we have heard from Sasha is one very loud yippee, but by that sound, it sounds like Ashley Birch is having a very fun time playing this character, and I look forward to hearing more from her. Wednesday was the only day that I can honestly say I was A-OK -okay with everyone. Levi sounds great, and I believe that Matthew Mercer is going to do a fantastic job voicing him. And having already experienced playing one badass character from a popular series, I have no doubt that he is going to make Levi kick ass in this dub. Petra sounds great. Of course, Caitlin Glass, Winry, you know, you can't really go wrong there. Hanji probably sounds the best. Jessica Cavallo clearly loves doing this role, is clearly having a fun time, and she sounds great. I really have no complaints there. I, I can't wait to hear more. She makes me want to hear more from her. And I think that's the that's the best part about when a voice works for a character. It makes you want to hear more. And I just I just want to hear more from Hanji as the series progresses. As far as Mikasa goes, I don't know. On the one hand, I like Trina Nishimura a lot. Lan Fan was a very memorable character from Brotherhood, and I love Mari in the Evangelion Rebuild films, but I just don't feel like Trina is a good fit for Mikasa. She, I guess my main complaint is just there's too much emotion there, and I know that's a, that's a good thing, except Mikasa is mostly known for being a very, very, being very in control of herself. And I don't get that impression from Trina's voice. She sounds like she honestly sounds like she's gonna start crying any minute. And I'm not saying that it's not for lack of trying. I can tell that Trina's trying really hard here. But maybe she's just trying a little too much. But I'm not gonna throw too much shade on it because maybe it will sound better as the series progresses. I'm sure I'll get used to it in time. Armin's voice sounds okay. It does sound like Armin. A little less high-pitched than I initially thought it was going to be, but overall it sounds fine. Reiner, Annie, and Marco all sound great. I have no complaints there, especially for Annie, whose voice actress makes it seem like a match made in anime heaven. It's, it's perfect for the character. Surprisingly, there have been no word on the main Funimation voice cast, including Vic Mignogna, Troy Baker, Travis Willingham, Laura Bailey, and Todd Haberkorn. Whether or not they will appear later in the series in kind of minor roles, or whether they'll even appear at all, maybe they'll just sit this one out, we don't know yet. So that's it as far as this video goes. Overall, I'm pretty content with the voice cast. I think uh, everyone's going to do a fine job, uh, and I look forward to when the dub finally premieres. Um, if any more announcements come out in the coming week, and especially when Anime Boston is out, I'll make another video as a bit of a follow-up to this. Uh, and let me know what you think of the voice cast, if there are any characters you think are going to be great, if there are any you're very iffy on, if there are any you are praying for deliverance from, let me know. And uh, that's it for now, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.